I have been living in the city for over six years now, but I just now realized that apart from the typical street photography pictures, I do not have any pictures on film from my city. And today's a Sunday and it's a rather sunny day as well, so I thought this is the perfect day to change that. And what camera could be better to take touristy pictures which do not look too cliché and are mostly for myself? You're right, Polaroid. So today we are gonna shoot the Polaroid SX70. I have one color film pack of SX70 film left, so it will be eight shots and you're gonna see them all. Gonna bring you with me, so let's go. I'm setting up my SX70 to take my next shot now and with the SX70 it's often the case that it naturally overexposes so I'm gonna set this little wheel just a tiny notch up to the dark side just to compensate for it and do a little bit more of underexposure and that's basically it so let's get it You thought you're gonna see the picture now, right? But I mean, I have to wait 15 minutes until it's fully developed, so it's only fair if you have to wait as well. No, I'm just kidding, here it is. stuck okay that's uh, nothing well another one or what back 
and that was it. These were my 8 shots on Polaroid SX70 film. All in all, I'm quite happy with the results and I think I captured some nice memories on here. But there were some incidences, as you saw in the video, that I think are worth talking about. First up, you can see that I have light leaks on pretty much all of the pictures. I have a theory why this could happen. Because even though this film pack that I used was new, I opened it before to film test other SX-70 cameras. So I'm pretty sure that my SX-70 is light tight because I have used film before and there were no light leaks on there. So I'm pretty sure it must have been the pack. So maybe when testing other cameras, some light sneaked in. And usually you can just use an empty cartridge with a exposed Polaroid to film test SX-70s, but I did not have one at hand, which is why I used the new pack. Second of all, as you saw in the video, I got one blank shot. To be honest, I have absolutely no idea what happened here. If I think back, maybe I forgot to turn the wheel towards the dark side to compensate for the overexposure on this one, so maybe it's just completely blown out and overexposed. But if it's not that, then I do really have no idea, so if you have any idea what happened here, let me know in the comments down below. And thirdly, you also saw that I got a very, very abstract artsy Polaroid. This happened when the wheels of my Polaroid SX-70 got stuck. I pushed the button, but the film was not extracted completely, but I had to kind of violently <laughs> pull it out, which unfortunately was not on camera because I was too busy to just handle what's happening here. And I think that the kind of package of the chemicals broke open, but before it could be spread through the rollers, some emulsion got ripped up and completely smeared all, all over. I think it's not too bad, I actually like it. I think it's very abstract, very artsy, and even though it's not the picture I had in mind, it's pretty cool. And honestly, there are always some accidents happening when you use Polaroid film, and that's also part of the deal and part of the surprise. So I am not mad that some of the pictures turn out not what I thought they would turn out, and all in all, I think I captured some nice memories of my city, and I'm very glad I did it on Polaroid. So I would say that's it for today, so let me know in the comments down below which situations you like to use Polaroid in, and I would say see you next time!